Hi everybody, Living Periodic Table, and today we're going to talk about what I have in the box for the sample of Francium. When people see my videos and they see a massive chunk of something in the box for Francium, I get so many comments. Uh, people tell me, there's no way you own Francium. There's no way that you own that much Francium. Francium's like a billion dollars a gram, which I, I guess they Googled to get that uh, magical dollar amount. The point of it is, Francium cannot be owned. It would be impossible. It's highly radioactive, highly reactive. It would actually react explosively with the moisture in the air. Um, it decays extremely rapidly, which is why it's so radioactive. It decays in only 22 minutes. Uh, that's its half-life. And so every 22 minutes, you have half as much Francium as you did before. And so like with many other of the elements that I can never own, I had to come up with something creative. Uh, let's call it a placeholder. And so the placeholder that I came up with was uranium ore. And inside uranium ore are two types of uranium, typically, in varying amounts. There's typically uranium-238, which uh, is typically 99% or so of uranium ore, and then uranium-235, which is just less than 1% of uranium ore, uh, typically. So inside this uranium ore, there's likely a small amount of uranium-235. As part of the decay of uranium-235, francium is produced. And so at any given time, uh, francium is being produced by this little rock right here in very, very small amounts. We're talking maybe an atom here and there. Um, but however, it is a placeholder. And so I have coined this placeholder Schrodinger's Francium because you never know how much Francium you have inside here unless you physically observed it. And then you would know exactly how much Francium you had if you had any at all. And so you never know if you have Francium or if you don't, therefore Schrodinger's Francium. So that's the story about Francium in the Living Periodic Table. It's not my only placeholder. There are many more, and I have many more stories about my different placeholders. Thank you for tuning in and learning about some science.